Hello, this is the first tutorial on how to use Nexton display. So, uh, Nexton display is very easy to use and requires 4 wires only. That is 5V ground, UART RX and UART TX. Most of the people use this display as a fast development only. While using this display we don't have to worry about display rendering and display common handling and display data handling or display refreshing rate. All the logic of handling the display is done in display board only. So today basically we will be looking into Nexton editor which will create output file and we have to transfer the file to Nexton display either through serial or through SD card. So you can download the download the uh, Nexton display from following link. You can download the Nexton display from official website nexton.itid.cc. So uh, this is the ID which will be will be going to use. So we have to create new project from here. We have to save the project somewhere. So here we have to select the type of display you have. So I will be selecting 4.3 and OK. So this is the screen you will get. This is the area in which you have to do the development. Uh, again we will require a font. So we have to go in uh, tools font generator and select a uh, font which we will be going to use in the display and select the height so i'll be I'll taking 40 generate font the point uh, we have to define name so i'll be setting as a font one generate font we have to send uh, save the font so i will be saving as a f1 and it will generate some code and it will be used internally okay yes add and close the window so now I'm adding some text window here you can change the content here new text so I'm adding here as a test one okay and adjust the window okay this is test one you can add the button from here so these are the property which, which you can use okay and adjust the height and width however you want you can add picture as well picture uh, you have to browse the picture and you have to set the picture for, for this you can add slider here as well okay and uh, these are the things we can add so for here uh, if uh, we are connecting any controller microcontroller like 8051 pick or arduino then you have to select here and to send the event we have to click here if press then you will get the event and on release if you tick here then you will get the event same for uh, button as well for slider you will get one more uh, tab touch window and this is a picture so now we can compile this uh, code so here it is saying one error so i will I'll delete this right now i don't have photo right now okay i will save this and i will compile it and i will debug it so uh, if I click here, nothing is happening because I didn't touch, uh, I didn't tick uh, the event. But if I click here, then you will get the press and release event. Okay, this is how it will work. So if you want to uh, event on press or release, if you want uh, event on release, then tick here, save and compile. So after uh, pressing the button, you will get the 
you will get the event like this so that's it